Yo, what is going on guys? It is Ratonic here and today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to use your PS5 or PS4 controller wired and get the absolute lowest amount of delay possible so your controller literally has zero delay. It's absolutely insane. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and I'm going to go ahead and drop some timestamps in the description so that way you guys can get to whatever part of the video you need faster so that way you're not wasting any time. Let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is start off with some disclaimers for the video. Um, there's a method that you guys can get really little delay with a controller when playing wired um, The only disclaimer about it is the fact that it's probably not the absolute safest thing to be doing for your controller I mean it definitely gets you really low delay But it definitely does you know shorten the lifespan of your controller a little bit But if you're not too worried about that then you guys don't have to worry you guys can go ahead and do the method And it's perfectly fine for you But if you're on a budget and you just literally barely got your ps5 controller You probably shouldn't be doing this and you guys should probably invest in just getting a little wireless adapter and playing with bluetooth just wanted to let you guys know that before we go ahead and start the video. And uh, yeah, other than that, I'm gonna, guys, gonna show you guys the method. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna need you guys to follow closely. If you guys do not follow the entire tutorial, you guys may mess it up. And if you mess it up, there's literally, I don't even, I'm not even gonna know how to help you if you guys comment after you mess it up, all right? So I need you guys to literally follow every step, step by step, and make sure you guys get everything right. If you don't, then don't ask me questions because you guys gotta follow the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link in the description on how to download this program. Once you download it, you guys can come right back to the video. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link to that right down there. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the program and kind of show you how it works and basically, you know, show you guys how to set it up. So I've already done the method as a practice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on display capture just so you guys can see. This is what the program looks like. It basically just overclocks your controller so that way you get literally zero delay. And I'm gonna prove to you guys that I have zero delay after I did the effects. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and also open up DS for Windows really quickly because that's how I measure delay. Hold on one second, go ahead and get that open really quickly for you. All right guys, so this is DS for Windows. I'm gonna go into edit here. And right now I'm gonna show you guys, I literally have zero, zero input delay. It's actually insane. But I'm gonna take off the method just to prove that it actually that is what's giving me the zero input delay. So let me go ahead and go to all. And then I'm really gonna go here and then just take off filter by device. And I'm gonna put this back to default. And then I'm going to unplug my controller and plug it back in. And now it should go back to default. I'm going to go back and open DS4 Windows again. And now you guys can see my input delay is 3.5. That is not too good. That doesn't feel too good when you're playing. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels really delayed. So that is about the lowest you'll probably get with a wire without doing this method. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the method really quickly. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, honestly. So yeah, let's go ahead and stop that right quickly. All right, so we're gonna go back. Right now I have my PS5 controller plugged in. Oh, oh yeah, and let me mention, this is also for the PS4 controller as well. You guys can do this exact same method, the exact same way, just make sure you guys are paying attention. I wanted to mention that really quickly. So when you guys get your controller plugged in, you wanna make sure when the program first opens up, I believe it's just gonna open with one of these. It'll just be one of them. I think it's just mice or just USB or something like that. So you wanna make sure you hit all, okay? So that way it says all, you can see every device connected. You're going to look for audio endpoint, speakers, wireless controller, audio endpoint, okay? It's this. It's this one right here. That's what it looks like. It's going to be the same for the PS4 controller. You want to highlight it, and then you want to go to filter on device. You want to hit the selected rate. You want to change it to 1,000, and you want to just click off like this. And then literally all you want to do is go ahead and unplug your controller. It's going to disconnect, and you want to plug it back in. And as soon as I plug it back in, now you're going to see filter says yes, the rate says 1,000 and the B interval says one, okay? That's what you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. You don't have to do this every time. You only have to do it one time. And then I'm gonna open back up DS4 Windows just so you guys can see my delay. Now my delay is literally zero. It's actually insane, guys. Like it feels so good. When you guys try this out, you are gonna be so ecstatic, bro. It's, it feels so good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just close DS4 Windows. If you guys use DS4 Windows to check your delay, make sure you guys close out of it completely if you guys are playing wired or you will get double input and it feels gross. So make sure you guys completely close out, go to your tray, completely exit out of it like I just did right there. Make sure you go back to your manager and that there is nothing there that involves DS4 Windows and you'll be perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead, now I'm playing my PS4 controller, or my PS5 controller, by the way guys, is not lit up right now. It doesn't even show that it's plugged in and that's what it's gonna look like and it may look like that for you, it may not like look like that for you. It's different for some people. So right now my PS5 controller looks like it is off, but it is obviously playing, you guys can see it's playing. And literally, if I'm not even very good at controller and it feels like there's literally no delay, it's kind of insane. Like it just feels like super good, feels really nice and yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. 
now the only thing i wanted to mention really quickly is just so you guys know these things is uh so if you guys are again like i said if you guys are playing on the ps4 controller you guys probably should be doing this method honestly because the ps4 controllers don't cost as much as the ps5 controllers anyway so it doesn't cost too much to buy a new one especially if you're using an older ps4 controller you definitely should do this method it's gonna feel insane you guys are gonna like it a lot and i also want to let you guys know that i'm gonna be playing out some new tutorials with getting you guys more FPS and getting rid of some of your guys' like FPS shutters and your game just feeling terrible. I'm gonna show you guys how to optimize your PCs and dude, it's gonna be insane. There's some tricks that you guys have never even seen before. So it's gonna be nasty, boys. It's gonna feel great. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of content videos coming out soon. So if you guys have more ideas, go ahead and drop me some in the comment section. I really appreciate it. And if you guys are hyped for the next videos coming up, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that too. And go ahead and use code Tonic in the item shop. Y'all know the vibes. And that's about the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.